so now we're going to put the line tracking modules on but before we do that let's kind of clean up our work surface here we got some extra stuff left over let's get that out of the way get a nice clean work surface to work on here so we'll put the stuff in our little cup there put the bags away I'm saving the bags by the way these bags are great uh, and we can reuse those bags somewhere else. Okay, so now get this packet out. Um, these are the things you're going to need. So we have in the manual here we have the screw, the hex nut, the hex spacer, and the line tracking module. And first we're going to mount those uh, uh, standoffs or spacers uh, on the line tracking modules. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, here is the line tracking parts kit. Let's dump that out. Saving the bags. All right, so here you have your line tracking sensor. Um, this is an infrared sensor. It has three pins. There is ground, power, and signal. So ground voltage plus is uh, voltage, and S is signal. Um, there is also a potentiometer adjustment on here for sensitivity. So basically this lighter colored blue LED here is a transmitter of an infrared signal. The infrared signal goes down and bounces off the surface, is reflected back and picked up by this receiving LED. So you have a transmitting LED and you have a receiver. It's not an LED, it's an infrared uh, sensor. Um, so uh, so uh, what happens is when you have a light surface the infrared signal reflects back. When you have a dark surface such as one of these tires uh, the infrared energy is absorbed and doesn't reflect back. And so that's how this knows uh, whether you are staying on, uh, on a tape or not. And so that's how it follows the line Light is made with black electrical tape on a, on a white surface, and so these can sense when it's on the tape and when it's not. 